Hello, this is me, Ilya Prigajin, and I'm a chemist from Russia. Well, Russia and Germany, and Belgium. It's a long story. To make it shorter, we moved away from the Russian Revolution in World War I, and then from the Nazis in World War II. I originally wanted to study the arts in college, but seeing my father and my brother in chemistry told me to take a little bit of a more scientific path. I guess it was the right one because it led me to a Nobel Prize. I did a lot of experiments in my day, but one of my big focuses was on systems at equilibrium. In thermodynamics, systems are always breaking apart and forming entropy, making things more complicated. Once in a blue moon, however, this chaos comes back together to form organization. We can see this in cyclones, in hurricanes, and even in life on Earth. I call these dissipative systems. My research, however, is not on such complicated systems as organisms. I try to create reactions in which order is created from chaos in order to better understand how the two concepts work together. An example of these reactions is a subset called oscillating reactions, in which solutions dissolve, reform, and repeat this process for several minutes, ending in the formed state. Examples of these reactions are the belousov jabotinsky reaction and the briggs rache reaction. Warning. The following video may be disturbing to some muggles as it displays awesome chemistry and a bit of magic. This reaction, the briggs rache is that which inspired the Ravenclaw house colors. Not really, but that would be really cool. Anyways, enjoy! Here we perform the briggs rauscher reaction. Essentially, this reaction proceeds as it does because the mixture is in a state far from equilibrium. Iodine ions are involved as the color changes from yellow to blue. As this happens, energy is released gradually and the reaction oscillates between these two colors. Iodine ions are produced in one process, while another process consumes them. In simpler terms, while there are more than 30 reactions happening at the same time, what you see is the iodine causing the yellow color when it is released, and the blue when it is taken back up. The low concentration of the intermediate causes the first process to start back up again, so the reaction oscillates between two colors as one process loops back to the other. You can see the process starting itself from the top down here, slowed down to half the normal speed. Here's the same reaction again, except with the stir bar. This adds kinetic energy to the reaction and allows more oscillations to occur since a dissipative structure forms when energy flows through the system and it creates order at the same time. It was once thought that such an oscillating reaction was impossible because the system should not be able to spontaneously jump out of equilibrium once it reached that equilibrium state, as stated by the second law of thermodynamics. Prigogine pioneered the work in non-equilibrium thermodynamics to theoretically support the idea that a chemical reaction occurring far from equilibrium does not violate the second law because the reaction oscillates about a non-equilibrium value as opposed to an equilibrium value. Here's the reaction again, except at one third of the normal this speed. This is to illustrate the difference between the radical process changing yellow to blue, as opposed to the slower change from blue to yellow. And the rest is for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> 